Hey, what's up guys? It's Trav again. On this video, I'm going to show you some really simple villager farms. These are what I like to use, uh, especially for my main food source other than like fish from my guardian farm or whatnot or from AFK Fishing. Uh, I usually eat golden carrots just because they're pretty simple, uh, great hydration, um, and they're reliable. You know, uh, animal farms don't work very well on console because of our low mob cap, so this works great. So uh, the whole thing is based around just a simple 9x9 nine nine farm with water in the center. So the water can reach uh, all tiles. Okay, so that's what we do. So let's take a look here. First of all, I got two farms next to each other. That's what we're going to start with. We're going to start with two. Uh, so the total size you're going to need is 27 blocks wide and 11 blocks long for this thing. And I'll explain kind of why. So you have a 9x9 nine nine farm right here. And you're going to need two blocks along the inside where the villagers are going to be. And then you need to separate, add three more blocks to separate, and then repeat it. So two more normal building blocks and then another 9x9 nine nine farm. It's important to have this space in between because if... Uh, a villager were to drop a seed or a plant or something, uh, you know, a carrot or something over here, the guys over here aren't going to stop their work because it's it's got to be uh, six or more tiles away. Okay, so that's kind of important there, um, especially if you're using glass. So that's why you have the separation. And then also it kind of gives me a way to walk in here and have access to both farms. All right, so to separate them all, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of fill this in like this. And just give myself a little bit of a doorway here. Okay, now with these walls up, let's just go ahead and throw some fence gates. Oops, sideways. Let's throw some fence gates in here so we can get in and out, but the villagers won't. Just like that. So now we have access to each one. Okay, so what we're going to have to do now is we're going to have to start getting kind of a little bit of a collection system going. And this is going to be using uh, the hungry village mechanic. When a villager is hungry, that a villager that has food in its inventory will pass the food over. Okay, so to do this, here's what we're going to do. We're going to knock out these blocks here. On both sides. We're going to go down here and we're going to beat this guy to death. Because we're sick of listening to him. There we go. Peaceful. Alright, so now what we need to do is let's throw a block down here for now. Just like that. We're going to want some hoppers. So a hopper straight down into that one. And then I'll make a little chain like this. Those feeding all the way over to that one. Alright, let's do the same over here. A little block down there for now. Hopper and a little chain. Get out of here. Perfect. Now this corner pose, we can go ahead and cover this up just like that. And then take some slabs, put them right there, okay? And then also, put one right here. Let's go to this side and let's do all the same thing. So that corner, bring it up, and make a slab here, a couple slabs there. So we're going to be trapping villagers in there. All right, looking good. Now, let's see. So what we need to do with this, make some room here is we need some minecart stuff. So let's go ahead and just grab a couple rails here. We need a couple carts. Let's throw some rails on here. Uh, actually, no, I'm sorry. These need to be minecart and hopper. What am I doing? Now, I like to keep them on the rails because it, it helps uh, keep the villagers from bumping them and moving them. All right, so let's do that. Let's do that. Come over here. Let's do the same here that there. Put that there. So I want to show you two different ways you can collect it. One, you could just have hoppers come out off that one that's pointing down and bring it up here to a chest. That would last you for quite a long time and it's a very simple, nice way of doing it. And for another way uh, to dispense the product, if, especially if you're going to be using water streams, let's go ahead and just Bring this down with one more funnel to make this a little bit easier to work. And we're going to use a dropper to 
to send the parts into a water stream. So throw a dropper underneath that funnel, put a block behind it, and let's put a block on the side of it. And then we'll, out of the one in the back, we're going to pull the signal out with a comparator into a repeater, into another block, and then we're just going to bring dust up the side, just like this. So when parts get put into here, they get spit out. So then all you would have to do for a water stream is close this in, and dump water in. And then at the very end, put a block of soul sand underneath, and you can carry it up in a tower, just like that. So that's, that's two different ways you can sort out your collection system. <clears throat> All right, so now that we've got that in, let's go ahead and take a look inside. We've got our minecarts in place. We've got our hoppers in place. We're ready for peoples. So let me get this thing ready, and I'll show you how I like to load people into here. Okay, so here's kind of what I like to do. Let me get a... Uh, I gotta think of everything I need. I usually bring them in from the roof. Uh, you know, I'll have the ceiling on top, and I'll bring rails down the ceiling, and I'll bring them from my breeder. And then I just kind of bring them down, give them a little backboard, and I drop them right in there. Okay, so that's what I do. So let's throw a little card on here, and throw a person in it. There we go. Give it a little bump. And he's in. And once he's in there, let's go ahead and seal this off. I like to break the cart. Give him a little room to run. Break. Fill that in just like that. And then let's actually take a slab and close that all the way in. You're in there now, buddy. So the only way that they can throw any of the vegetables to this guy is right through this window. And they're going to get caught in this cart. And then we can get rid of this stuff. And then we're going to do the same for the other Aww. side. So let's come up from the other side. Aww. And let's grab some cart here. Aww. Give him a little backboard. Aww. Get a mine cart. Aww. Put a guy in Aww. there. There he goes. And he goes. We can go ahead and seal that up. Let's just get rid of that cart right there. Close all this in. And we can get rid of this. And we could use the same system to bring the other guys in. You know, we can load up a... So just use your same rail, and then we'll bring the other guys in and drop them into this part. But for now, first, let's make sure we get these people assigned. Uh, it's okay if we make everybody a farmer. So here we just need to make sure we assign workstations, okay? So the first thing is let's get beds down. Okay, he claimed the first one, so this guy should claim the second. There he goes. Let's get rid of the first and move it over here. There we go. Now, let's see about uh, these. All right, he claimed that one, so we'll leave that one there. This guy should claim that one. There we go. A couple of farmers. That's a, and that, that's, you don't, you don't necessarily need them to claim anything. It's just going to make it easier. I try to do that with everybody around my main area where my villagers are, so that way I don't have any surprises later on. I don't know. All right, once we get these two guys in place with their workstations and everything, now it's time to bring in the farmers. You just use the same train tracks, and you can drop them off and just extend the tracks and drop the next one off over there. That's fine. But I think you get the points. So I can just drop them in. One thing I want to make sure I do, since these are up against the wall, is increase the height of this wall one more block so they can't climb out. So let's drop a guy in here. Give him a bed. And then now... We should be able to drop down the next workstation. Get out of the way. And he should take it. There he goes. So we'll fix this. There we are. Now we'll do the same thing over here. Drop him down. Give him a bed. And drop him down a workstation. He should claim it. There he goes. Fix this floor. There we are. Now, let's see what these guys can do. 
Uh, let's give this guy... Let's see if he'll take two stacks of potatoes. Just like that, and he should get to work. As long as it's working hours, which it usually is. Now let's give this guy carrots. Let's see. Carrots, carrots, carrots. Give him a couple stacks of carrots. There he goes. And they should pretty much just get to work. Now, if you want to speed it up, you can go do it by yourself. Oh, this guy's already... He's got stuff to do. This guy's got to think about it for a while. And that's it. They'll uh, they'll start working. And then when all this stuff grows, we'll... Uh... Oh, there he goes. Here, now let's grab a little bit of bone meal. And let's test some stuff out here. Yeah, look at that. He's already got everything planted. I like to give him a few stacks, you know. The first couple stacks you get out of your farm, I like to just throw it back to them and until they get their inventory just about full. There he goes. Pretty quick, huh? Nice little farmer. Now let's go ahead and jumpstart one a couple of these. And let's just kind of see what happens. Obviously, you need to make sure you have enough light. Oh, there he goes. I already harvested him, and he's replanting them. There he goes. Look at him go, Farmer Pete. So what they're doing, they're taking advantage of the mechanic where they want to give share food with this guy, right? Because he's hungry, he doesn't have anything in his inventory. But when he goes to throw it to him, the minecarts pick it up. When they do, they dispense it down, and then it's collected. Okay. So that's pretty much the whole gist of it. Now you can double these up or quadruple these up. You want to keep that spacing right. So if we take a look here, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, and we want that to be the floor of the, the of the upper floor. That way, if when they're dropping items down here or harvesting, it doesn't bother the guys upstairs. So then this would be your your nine by floor right here and then out in the middle you would have the uh, the hole so you could just go like this or you can make that up you could even make this a light if you wanted to you know that's no big deal just something underneath to hold the water because that's where the water is going to be okay and this is going to be your floor up here i think you guys get the point this will be your floor up here all right so then and then to connect these all right, let's work on that so you can see how I do that. So, we start with this. Uh, we, well, let's get our floor in. All right, and then it's going to be a two-by-two two hole like this. So let's build this back wall just like that. Alright, so what you gotta knock these ones out. Okay, so now we need to carry these funnels all the way to the top. So let's grab this one in here. We don't want to break that yet. He might climb over, so let's put one on top, then he can't climb over. And if he's nice to us, there we go. He'll let us put that one in. And we pretty much need to go all the way up here to this floor, right? So let's do that. And then we'll feed these in just like that. Uh we'll put down these. Let's get this uh, these walls in here. This would be the this would be the next floor's wall. However you want to do it. Oh, he's spitting stuff out down there. There comes the carrot. Um, and then this is where we blocked it off. Slab here, and then afterwards you would do all this, something like that. So, and then here would be your two cards. So that's how you would connect your second floor, and then this would be your full-size farm. It would be just like that. And your next guys would come in here. Don't forget slabs here to keep them trapped in, and that would be a double decker, just like that. Okay. Now you can also incorporate beetroot and wheat to a certain extent, beetroot more so than wheat, but they're certainly viable. Okay, so with these two, is be they make a byproduct, you know, when you harvest them, not only do you get your beetroot, but you also have the probability of getting a, a seed um, to go with it when they're fully grown. 
So, as a result, over time, they may start to have more beetroots in their inventory and less seed. So a couple things you could do to help with that, like there's a seed there, is when you first get them in here, ha take all the beetroot you can and give them as much beetroot as you can when you start to farm. They have eight inventory slots, so try to load them up with as mu many seeds as you can. Okay, the last thing I would do is don't plant the ones closest to the minecart, so that way if the product falls, it doesn't fall over to this guy here. It keeps things a little bit simple for this, because uh, since they spread out two different products, that's important here. Okay, so the same with wheat. Just give the guy as much wheat as possible, and uh, go from there. It's, I mean, it's not perfect. It's, it's mostly just going to be a bread, a bread farm, but bread is good to eat. I mean, I've got <laughs> probably a thousand bread now because of mine. And what I usually do is, uh, you know, to get the wheat that I need for, uh, uh, for my own use, I usually go. Let's grab some bone meal. What I usually do is go through here, and when, when this is. A lot of this is all grown uh, all the way. I'll just come through here and I'll just harvest a bunch. And uh, um, and then I'll throw back some of my seeds. If I was on survival, I would throw back some of my seeds to him. The seeds I get. And I would take the wheat and I would I'd, I'd go on my way. Okay. So it certainly is good. It's not long term sustainable without some kind of maintenance for these two. But you can use them and it's very easy to maintain. So I would definitely incorporate them if those are something you're uh, you're interested in, um, or if you want to double up on potatoes and carrots, you could certainly do that. Speaking of which, let's see how we're doing here. Uh, two and a half stacks, and we would have that many carrots too if we didn't have them spitting into to nowhere. All right, so the last thing I would do with your farms is when they climb up on objects, well, their beds. You can rotate, move their beds around. So they're uh, they're not so bad, you know. Maybe just spin them sideways. Um, that's fine. And then what I would do is uh, come over here to this guy and just go ahead and put a block on top of it. So that way he doesn't climb on top and uh, fall down and break uh, and break the ground. Kind of like what we just did. There you, sir. You take that beetroot seed and then go through here and. Kind of move these beds this way like that. There, that's fine. Yeah, then they're not going to climb off. Just, you know, do something like that. And that's going to kind of help it out with, uh, you know, to reduce the amount of maintenance you did. And all I did here is I just added a little stairway so I could get up and over myself. All right, pretty simple. So that's it, guys. That's your that's the veggie farms. That's what I've been using on my server. And, man, I'm I'm just loaded on veggies. Okay, decorate it however you want, do whatever you want that way, this just kind of gives you an idea, oh, we're spitting carrots, and uh, this is definitely the way, uh, in my opinion, to go on console as far as food, you know, get a veggie farm going, it's not limited by a mob cap like animals are, you know, do animals on the side if you want for the good steaks and whatnot, uh, but this is a very simple, sustaining way, and then you add a gold farm to it, and you got golden carrots, and, uh, you're good to go. So anyway, I hope that kind of gives you guys a couple ideas and is a good farm for you guys to use. If you enjoyed the video, please show your support. Leave a like. Subscribe for more PlayStation 4 future technical videos. Don't forget to bell me, bro. I'm your boy, Trav. We'll catch you next time.